Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Saturday, February 17th, 2024. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's Word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. Today we begin by reading Psalm 43. Psalm 43. Vindicate me, God, and champion my cause against an unfaithful nation. Rescue me from the deceitful and unjust person. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about in sorrow because of the enemy's oppression? Send your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Then I will come to the altar of God, to God, my greatest joy. I will praise you with the lyre, God, my God. Why, my soul, are you so dejected? Why are you in such turmoil? Put your hope in God, for I will still praise him, my Savior and my God. When God completed his work of creation, he declared that everything was very good his understated way of saying that everything was perfect. There was no sin to ruin God's creation until the events that we're going to read about in our reading from the book of Genesis today. Today we're going to read what is quite possibly the saddest chapter in the Bible, Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit from the trees in the garden, but about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, You must not eat it or touch it, or you will die. No, you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. In fact, God knows that when you eat it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food and delightful to look at, and that it was desirable for obtaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. So the Lord God called out to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Then he asked, who told you that you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man replied, The woman you gave to be with me. She gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate. So the Lord God asked the woman, What have you done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than any livestock and more than any wild animal. You will move on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life. I will put hostility between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. He said to the woman, I will intensify your labor pains. You will bear children with painful effort. Your desire will be for your husband, yet he will rule over you. And he said to the man, Because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, do not eat from it. The ground is cursed because of you. You will eat from it by means of painful labor all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. You will eat bread by the sweat of your brow until you return to the ground, since you were taken from it. For you are dust, and you will return to dust. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all the living. The Lord God made clothing from skins for the man and his wife, 
and he clothed them. The Lord God said, since the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, he must not reach out, take from the tree of life, eat and live forever. So the Lord God sent him away from the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he was taken. He drove the man out and stationed the cherubim and the flaming whirling sword east of the garden of Eden to guard the way to the tree of life. We now turn to Mark chapter 2, where we see Jesus healing a paralyzed man and calling Levi, also known as Matthew, to be his disciple. When he entered Capernaum again after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many people gathered together that there was no more room, not even in the doorway, and he was speaking the word to them. They came to him bringing a paralytic carried by four of them. Since they were not able to bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and after digging through it, they lowered the, man on, lowered the mat on which the paralytic was lying. Seeing their faith, Jesus told the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. But some of the scribes who were sitting there questioned in their hearts, Why does he speak like this? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Right away, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were thinking like this within themselves and said to them, why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, take your mat and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he told the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. Immediately he got up, took the mat, and went out in front of everyone. As a result, they were all astounded and gave glory to God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. Jesus went out again by the, beside the sea. The whole crowd was coming to him, and he was teaching them. Then, passing by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was reclining at the table in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who were following him. When the scribes who were Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he told them, it is not those who are well who need a doctor, but those who are sick. I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.